Hello guys and welcome back to chemistry class. So this is chemistry again, another episode. And today we are going to be looking at a periodicity of properties of element. Periodicity, periodicity of properties of elements. All right, now some Elements show what a periodicity that is recurrence called what recurrence. Recurrence means occurring at what at regular intervals called recurrence or repetition at what at intervals. So some what elements will show what a periodicity. They show what a show a recurrence. They show what a repetition at what at regular what intervals. Now. Please know that this video tutorial, of course, is brought to you by the O3 School Jam CBT practice app. It is all you need to succeed in your exam. It has, it has all the past questions, so you don't need to go about bothering yourself looking for past questions up and down. It has all the past questions for all subjects in one app. All right, and of course, there are so many wonderful features why you want to jump on the app right now. There's a study mode, there's a practice mode, there's an exam mode, there's a mock mode. You can take in all this mode to prepare for your exam adequately. To prepare for your exam adequately there are so many other features like the question search feature so for example you go now to the app click on question search go to uh, chemistry type in uh, periodic table all the questions that have come under periodic table you see them wow, on your front so after you are done with a particular topic you can go to all the questions that have been saved that at any way jam so it makes you get used to how jam sets what question there's another wonderful feature called the UTM challenge, right? It is it's a challenge that will conduct for all students who are writing jam each year, right? So you can compete with other with, with your colleagues to what to win prizes. Winning prizes is not the main reason, but of course you are able to what to see your score after every challenge. So we conduct that challenge every Saturday, every Saturday, every weekend. We can, we conduct what that challenge by 10 a.m. So you compete with all other students, and then you see your score at the end of the challenge according to the subjects you are, you are what you are written. So that will build your confidence towards what the exam. There's another wonderful feature called the classroom feature. So many other features on the app. I don't want to talk about right now, but please, that's all you need to want to succeed. Even the novel for your work for your exam is on the app, so you don't need to what worry for nothing. So activation is just three thousand naira. If someone comes to you and tells you that ah, pay three thousand naira to pay hundred thousand naira self. For expo you some of you will pay it so three thousand dollars to succeed in your exam is something very very worth meager so please pay that money activate your app and what we'll start practicing today now let's go back to what you're talking about periodicity of properties of elements i will say some elements show a periodicity that is they show what a recurrence they show the repetition at what at intervals so properties of element uh or what are uh, what uh, can what can reoccur so now we're going to look at what five properties basically today right um um i'm going to use what a mnemonic and they is expecting egg indomie all right so a day is expecting egg indomie is the mnemonic we used to remember what these five what properties in case we are what you are confused and you have to remember them in this order one two three four five you must remember them in this order for you to be able to what adequately understand this what video so that you're able to what you apply to your exam what questions questions come out from this aspect very very well so you must pay attention and what understand so this is number one then this number two number three number four Number five. Now, when I tell you what all these ones mean, this A here means number one is what the properties now are looking at. Five properties. Number one is atomic volume and radius. Atomic volume and radius. So are they A for atomic volume and radius? Are you there? Then B, that number two now is expecting. Two is what ionic radius two is ionic radius one is atomic volume and radius two is ionic radius then number three expecting is electronegativity electronegativity all right that is what number three then number four egg there is what is electron affinity electron affinity 
Then number five, which is the Indomedia, is ionization energy. Ionization energy. So now I say what some element will show what a periodicity or what, right the recurrence of what of properties at regular intervals, right? Pro their properties or or what occur at regular intervals. So we're looking at what these five properties: atomic volume and radius, ionic radius, electronegativity, electron affinity, and ionization energy. So this is the mnemonic you use to what to remember what them in this order, right? Because if you know them in this order. It will save you a lot of stress, and I'll tell you why soon. So, a day is expecting egg in domain, or you can say a i a i e e i. So, sometimes I use a i e e i to what to remember, but of course, a day is expecting egg in domain is still fine. All right, that is that for that. Now, I'm going to write them out properly at the top here so that we'll begin to what to see what how would they vary, how they vary how they vary now number one we say is what atomic volume and radius then we say number two is what a i now that is a ionic radius you see i use the mnemonic right now a i e e i so number three is electronegativity negative T V T. Then number four is electron affinity. Then number five, of course, is ionization energy. All right. Now that we have seen what these five what properties. Now, why I say you should know them according to what that order is because number three, electronegativity, electron affinity and uh, an ionization energy that is three four and five three four and what five they vary in the same way three four and five vary in the same way and in opposite direction to one and two right so three four five they vary in the same way right and in opposite direction Direction to to one and two. All right. So now that means that if you know how number three varies, if you know how electronegativity varies, you will apply the same to electron affinity and ionization energy. Right. If you know how, how electronegativity varies, you will apply the same to electron affinity and ionization energy. And then the opposite will be. For atomic volume and radius are you together now now so these are the five properties and this is how they vary so if you know three four if you know three you will know four and five and then you apply the opposite to what to one now let me quickly tell you that atomic volume right or atomic volume and radius it what down the group it what it increases atomic volume atomic volume and radius increases down the group so if you are going down the group like from up to down you are going this way you know this is the group like this vertical right so if you are going from year to year it increases atomic volume and radius what increases down the group but if you are going across the period like this this is across the period then this one is down, right? Let me come here. This is down the what? The group, all right? Oh, sorry, this is down the group. Let me write it the other way. This is down the group because it's going down like this, all right? Why this one is what is across the period. Now, atomic volume and radius increases as you go down the group like this. So as you are coming down the group, atomic radius what increases, but it decreases as you are going across the period. So that's what I'm saying. Atomic volume or radius increases down the group and decreases and decreases across across the period. All right. So know that and no peace. So very very easy. 
So you should never fail any question that has to do with periodicity or properties of elements. Right? So down the group, it increases. Note of atomic volume and radius. Down the group, it increases. Across the period, it what? It decreases. Increases down the group, decreases across the period. Increases down the group, decreases across the period. You must know this. Please put this at the back of your mind. Now, another thing you need to know is that the ionic radius, the ionic radius of positive ions, the ionic radius of positive ions, ionic radius of positive ions is smaller than the corresponding atomic radii. All right? The ionic radius, ionic radius of positive ions is smaller than the corresponding atomic radii. Why? Why will the uh, ionic radius of positive ions be smaller than the corresponding atomic radar? It is because for a positive ion to be formed, the atomous electron will have to be what? Have to be lost or have to be what? Given away. All right? So now, I is a positive ion form. A positive ion is formed when a metal atom loses what? Electrons. Isn't it? Now, for example, if you have sodium, this is sodium, uh, sodium atom having 11 what? what uh, uh, electrons, right? Sodium has 11 electrons. Now, that is Na. Na is 11, the 11th what? Um, uh, element. It has what? 11 electrons. Now, in the first shell, it will have what? Two what? Electrons in the atomous shell, right? In the second shell, it will have eight. Two, two, two. We have, we have done this in bonding, chemical bonding. So if I've not watched bonding video, please go and watch bonding video. Do not waste your time. Everything you need to succeed in your jam is on this channel. So do not waste your time. Now, this is what sodium atom. This is two. This is eight. That is ten. So in the order what shell, this is K shell uh, or energy level one. This is energy level one. Any cost of one here is energy level two. This energy level what? Three. Or KLM. All right. Now, in the last shell, it will have what one electron. Now, it has one electron in its most shell. That means it will not be stable. It will not be stable. Now, for sodium to become a positive ion, it has to what give this electron out. It has to bond and what give this electron out. So, because if you give this electron out, it will have eight electrons in this what in its atomous shell. It will it will obtain the stable octet structure. It will obtain the word the stable or text structure and so down the word will be stable. But because it has one here, it is not stable like this. That word give it out. So once it loses, once it's what it loses what is what is electron, because a positive ion what will be formed. Na plus. That's when you now see what Na plus. When you see positive on top of what? On top of an atom, know that what it has lost what electrons. That's what it means. It has what lost one or two electrons. Now, for sodium here, it has lost what an electron to become what this table to become stable. So that what the electronic conversion will now be what two eight. You are going to have two eight. Before now, it was two eight one. So this one makes it unstable. So it has to give it out. So a positive ion is from when a metal atom loses what electrons. So that's why I have more this positive ion. And we are seeing that what that the ionic radius. Of a positive of positive ions is usually smaller than the corresponding atomic radius radii because for a positive ion to be formed, right? For the for a positive ion to be formed, right? The atom needs to what need to what lose what this what atomous what electron. It has to lose its atomous electron, and because it is losing the atomic electron, the atom will now become smaller. Atom becomes what smaller. All right, so I'll go over that again. Now, I say the ionic radius of positive ions is usually smaller than the corresponding atomic what radii because what a positive ion is formed by the loss of what is atomous what electrons, which now makes the what atom smaller. Now, the ionic radius, on the other hand, of negative ions, now, of negative ions is usually larger, is larger than what than the corresponding atomic water radii the uh, ionic radius of what negative ions is larger than the corresponding what atomic water radii why because a negative ion is formed by what electron gain so that means if you have what 
and if you are if you, are, if you see an atom that has what for example cl minus if you see an atom that has what um a negative a negative ion know that what it is because it has received what electron it has what gain what extra what electron to itself that is why it's having what it's having what that negative what sign at the top all right so now that's what i'm saying the ionic radius of what negative ions is usually larger than the corresponding atomic radii right since what a negative ion is formed by what by electron gain which now makes the atom what larger atom what becomes larger or bigger all right so that is that for that so you need to understand what those two the ionic radius of positive ions and what and what of negative ions and what what happens what in the atom so for example if you are, if you are giving two ions for example now if i'm giving two ions for example let's say i'm giving two ions k plus and cl minus you are giving these two ions all right the ion with what with the lesser atomic number we have the larger ionic radius <laughs> right so if i'm giving two ions right with what the same what number of electrons you know that k plus and cl minus have the same number of electrons potassium is the 19th element right is the 19th element so so if since it's 19 there's no combination of what 2 8 8 right this is 2 plus 8 10 10 plus 8 uh, 18 plus 1 now uh, 9 2 8 8 1 it will not be stable so it has to give us what this one electron because it's given another one electron we're now going to have what now 2 8 8 that's why having this k plus now chlorine is the 17th what element now but it is what this is what 2 8 uh 2 plus 8 2 plus 8 is 10 then 10 plus what uh 7 it's supposed to be normally chlorine is the 17th element right so it's supposed to be what 2 8 7 right normally right but for it to be also stable for it to have what this negative ion for it to be stable it has to receive what one electron so because it has received one electron, you'll become what two eight eight. So you see that what they will not be what they will not be the same. They have the same number of electrons. That's why I'm saying if I give you two ions that have the same number of electrons, like K plus and Cl minus, they have the same number of electrons, the same number of electrons. Because they have the same number of electrons, the ion with the what with the lesser atomic number, with the lesser atomic number, this one is atomic number 19, this is atomic number 17. The ion with the lesser atomic number will have the larger, larger ionic radius. It will have the larger ionic radius because it has what? The, it has what? It has received, it has gained what? An electron, right? So it has given what? Given it what? An ion. Right? It has gained, it gained to what? To, 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 it gained an electron to have its stability. Right, so the ionic radius will be, will be larger with, with the world with the element that has the lesser atomic number. All right, so that does by the way that you should watch, you should, you should keep at the back of your mind. So we are still discussing periodicity. Everything here I'm talking about is periodic, periodicity of all the properties of element, and it is how what Jam sets his question. They start how they set their question. So you must understand. That's why I'm explaining and painstakingly what explaining this. Now, having known that, know that what electronegativity electron affinity and ionization energy show the same work variation like i've said before so now electronegativity these three let me just say three four five these three four five right for example they what they decrease down the group all right so down the group they what they decrease so this is this is the group down this is down down the group so that's like this now they decrease down the group and across the period they increase increase across the period all right so down the group they what they decrease now i'm showing you the term i'm showing you that variation electro electronegativity decreases down the group Electron affinity decreases down the group. Ionization energy decreases down the group. But across the period, they what? They all increase, right? So three, four, five. These three, four, five decrease down the group and increase across the period. To make you easily remember this, to make you easily remember this, so that you not be needed to be cracking your head every time, right? To make you to easily remember this, remember that the most electronegative element in the periodic table is fluorine. 
the most electronegative element in the periodic table is what is fluorine that's what you should first remember and since electronegative it seems the most electronegative element is fluorine that means ordinarily because in the in group seven the halogens right in the halogens the first element there is fluorine then we now have chlorine we have bromine we have iodine like that downward so since chlor since fluorine is the most electronegative that means as we are going down the group like this eh, it will be what it will be decreasing so they will decrease down the group electronegativity will decrease down the group and what across the period of the world they will increase so once you know fluorine is the most electronegative element then you will definitely know the variation of what of electronegativity so down the group it was it will it will decrease right then across the period of what they will increase all right so that is that for that well i'm sure that you have gained a lot from what from this and exam questions are set about this so once you know what you have taught today you are sure to what to at least have your one sure mark whenever the certain topic and uh, when it comes to what periodicity of properties of elements my name remains so i thank god i will see you in the next episode as we continue discussing our topic on periodic table see you